Hey guys, I'm doing a quick video on how I do my um, veggie glycerin mix, so stay tuned. Alright, so I want to show you guys how I do my veggie glycerin mix, um, or spritzer, spray, whatever you want to call it. Um, because that's what I use um, daily to um, kind of refresh in my hair, um, add some moisture to it, and um, which keeps it soft. And I guess sort of kind of condition it. Um, so I know there's plenty of videos on this on YouTube, but I just want to share what I do. So the first thing that you need is a spray bottle of any type or size. So here's my spray, spray bottle. Um, I would say a tablespoon. Uh, of course, veggie glycerin, which you can get from... Um, Whole Foods, Earth Fair, Home Economics, um, different places, online, vitamin stores, a lot of places. Um, and then, uh oh, making a mess already. Coconut oil, you can get this. I got this from Harris Teeter for um, $7, but you can get it pretty much anywhere, any grocery store or health food store. Um, and I am using Africa's Best Herbal Oil. Um, Ultimate Herbal Oil, and the reason why I'm using this is because it has like 20 freaking different oils in it. If it didn't, if I didn't have this, I would use um, like rosemary oil. Um, I would use, uh, of course, coconut oil, olive oil, and probably castor oil. And I don't know what else I would mix. And probably I would get some type of oil for scent, but not sure. Um, till now, until that runs out, that's what I'll be using. So, oh, and then water. Almost forgot water. I'm tripping. So I'm using my great value water. No shame in my game. Um, and this is what I usually do. I usually um, use a bottled water because um, either whether it's distilled or purified, I use that because I rather use water um, like this in the bottle um, that has some purified than the one out the tap. Um, because I know this is better for your hair as the one out the tap is harsher. So I usually. Um, empty out the water, drink the water from the bottle up until um, the third or fourth line on the bottle and it's not for any uh, exact reason but this is actually too much so I'm going to pour out some of it till it gets to this um, middle line right here. So. And um, make sure you keep the lid for the bottle as well. So that's the water, and I just pour it in here. If you can see that. So I pour the water in the um, spray bottle. Then after that, I get my coconut oil. Sometimes I'll melt it down. Sometimes it's already, the coconut oil is already melted down, depending on the temperature in my apartment. Like now, it's I don't know if you can see that. Now it's not um, melted down, it's clumped. But I take the tablespoon and I usually get about three fourths of the tablespoon. So this is a little more, but I hope you can see that. Um, this is white on white, sorry about that. Anyway, so I take that and um, most of the times I have to kind of like jam it in there because it's so thick unless I have melted it down and I don't feel like doing all that. So um, let me find something stick this on top of all right hopefully this isn't too high use my eco styler thingy okay so i'm just gonna stick my finger in there and put it inside the um spray bottle <sighs> facebook is tripping okay so, you can just stick it in there. Pause. <laughs> Anyways. And I usually use this little, the um, stick or whatever you want to call it, of the spray bottle to get whatever excess off of there. Um, or my finger. Like that. So... That's in there now. I need to see the clumps. It'll melt down eventually. 
So I do that. Then after that, I take my veggie glycerin and a tablespoon again. And I do one tablespoon of the veggie glycerin. And this mix here will last me about uh, three weeks. Because I don't spray it. I spray it morning and night. Um, sometimes I used to carry some with me, but I stopped doing that. So um, I spray it in the morning and I spray it at night before I go to bed. So then I just pour the glycerin in here. Just like that. Okay. Then I get my Africa's Best Herbal Oil. And I do about 10 drops, but the spout of this thing, the uh, the opener opening is big, so it comes out more than 10 drops. But I do it 10 times at least. I hold it down. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Hmm. All right. I'm just going to clean the excess off. I think because I put in more water, I'm going to put some more of the olive oil. I'm going to actually press it out. So I'll uh, press it out twice. One, two. So I would say that was an additional five drops. So about 15 drops. Anyways, so that's it for the actual mix itself. I'll put my water bottle, I mean, <laughs> spray bottle, um, sprayer thingy, whatever you call it, back on. And I shake like this. And I shake. If I feel like I haven't shaken it good enough, or if I feel like I want to melt the coconut down, I try not to stick this in the uh, microwave. I did it one time, like an idiot, and this is what happened. I have a dent in the bottle. I don't know if you can see that. But anyways, so usually, or um, now, from now on, I started putting it back in the water bottle that I had. And putting the water bottle either on hot water, putting it in hot water, or um, putting it in the microwave for like 13 seconds to let the coconut um, oil dissolve. The coconut dissolve because it's still clumped up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's still in there. But yeah, once I shake for like 15, 20 seconds, um, I go ahead and start to apply it in my hair. Um, and make sure that you have it on the setting of the where it sprays out. It doesn't shoot or spit out because it's not going to be a good look if you just it's you're going to get basically you're going to shoot yourself with a uh, um, high density or amount of um, oil. So yeah, that is my glycerin mix, and it's very light. It, um, your hair is going to smell like coconut oil without a doubt um, or whatever oils you put in there but it's not going to be a bad smell you can always add some type of um, scent of oil to give a different spray I mean a different scent if that's what you want to do but um, yes it's very 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 helpful and um, maybe I can take a picture of what it looks like after it dissolves because right now it's real cloudy um, because of the coconut oil which doesn't bother me at all um, and that's that. So let me know if you have any questions. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.